Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the NAM show in Anaheim, California. I'm with Michael from DAD. Hello, Michael. How are you? Hi, hi Sam. Good to see you. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. And uh, good to see that you have an, a new product. The oh, yeah. Thundercore. Correct. Thundercore is a product family. So, Thundercore is actually comprising three different products. And uh, the one is the A Sender, which is a new product here. And we have the Core 256 and the X64. Okay. So at this show, we will be showing for the first time the extender, which is a very nice one new box. So where does this sit in relation to existing DID interfaces? It's, uh, it's a smaller footprint in terms of the actual physical outline. It's, uh, it has built-in uh, micro preamps, two channels, instrument inputs, and it has two sets of monitors and two sets of headphone outputs. And that's a little different from the other products we do, which is more or less only slot-based with, with cards for, for the I.O. So is this still somewhat modular? It's modular with two slots additional. So it works as a, we call it a 2x8 analog interface uh, with additional two slots for up to 32 channels of analog. And those slots can host any of the cards yeah. in the entire range? Yes. yes. So the cards we have for the X32 and then for the X64 can, can sit here and also coming cards in the future will be compatible with the unit, yeah. So what's the maximum channel count that you could achieve with those two slots? So the maximum channel count in analog is uh, 32 channels. Uh, if it's, for example, two MATIC cards, it will be 256 channels. But, but what is also interesting with the unit is that it is a Thunderbolt enabled, so it has natively built in 256 channels of Thunderbolt I.O. Uh, sort of all three. It uh, runs all also 96 in that channel count, and it also has 256 channels of downlink. Right. So it, not only is it a native Thunderbolt interface, it's also a sort of Thunderbolt to Dante bridge, as it were. Yeah. So that's why we call it a centerpiece because it's uh, depending on of course of the, of the customer's need, it could be center or not. But in terms of I/O and audio infrastructure, it, it kind of centers in between. Dante, your interface to computer, low latency Thunderbolt, and some analog I.O., some talkback, some microphones, some speaker outputs for headphones, mm -hmm. an immersive setup for uh, 714. There's a lot of opportunities for the unit. Yeah, so it's something you can use kind of straight out of the box yes. because it's got all that fixed I.O. Okay. built Correct. in, but it's also something that's got immense expansion potential. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and does it have any sort of limitations compared with the larger units in the range? Mm -hmm. Well, the limitations is mainly the, the slots count, which are two slots, uh, because the whole infrastructure, the native the technology, digital technology, is the same as both on the Core 256 and the X64. Uh, but the X64 has eight slots, the Core 256 zero, and this one has two. Right. So it's kind of a, you know, we can kind of call it any, any, any more. They're three different products with two different kind of uh, ranges of functionality. Right, and I gather you've had quite a lot of interest in this product, so there might be a little while before it's actually available to buy. It is in production, and it's, but it will not be available in volume before Q4 this year. Uh, we will be supplying something this quarter, um, but we are still struck by the, not so much that it's a new product, but the whole microchip issues of getting components. We call it chip again. It's it's not quite over. So that means that everything that will be supplied this quarter will be against like a premium charge for covering some of that component cost. Mm -hmm. But from quarter Q4 onwards, we'll be back to, to more normal pricing and delivery times, hopefully. But it, it, it looks like that at the moment. And do you know what that standard pricing will be when it arrives? It's, uh, I think it's 3,650 euros for, for the basic unit and then additional for, for cards and modules. Interesting. Well. I'm hoping we'll be able to get our hands on one soon because it seems be like to, an yeah. impressive piece yeah. of kit. We have stuff, and we already supplied some customers, like a, a major, major broadcaster in, in LA, uh, the, the post-production facility. Uh, we have some other units on the road for some live gigs, uh, so it's it's in it's in full operation. Tried and tested. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. All right, great to see you, Michael. Thanks. Great to see you, time. Sam. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.